Ransom here, Draftytopia. Today we're watching Baker Mayfield. All right. Um, was that Flowers back there? He did a shitty job picking that block up. Yeah, I think it was. Um, yeah, that... I feel like Mayfield chose a good decision, but, like, I think he should have waited to see more open up, but at the same time, I understand why... So, Mayfield, he's taking three steps here, and fires a nice bullet to Mark Andrews. Oh, here Bayfield scrambling. I love the enthusiasm. And then, nice throw there. I mean, Baker made the right read on this throw, Thomas. This was just excellent reaction by TCU. Uh, yeah, I think Mayfield simply put that pass a little too high. He put it where it needed to be. I just think he put it a little too high. See if he dropped it as a result. He probably should have let him on, though, a little more. I mean, he looked right there. It's fine. It's just a little too high. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Mayfield. Over the middle. Caught. This is C.D. Lamb in space. Yo, you can talk about the play now if you want. Alright, so Baker Mayfield here. I love the decision-making. Excellent throw. I call that a dagger, but... Then you're going to have the official. He's just going to come in and he's going to negate the play. I can't tell what penalty it is, but... The penalty negates the touchdown. Baker Mayfield here. Second drive and nice completion to Mark Andrews for the first down here. And Baker catches a defense playing coverage on the receivers. He sees Andrews open. Great read. Baker Mayfield did a good job getting it to Andrews here, but Rodney Anderson missed his assignment. Rodney Anderson missed that last block on the assignment, but he redeems himself in a big way. Watching him sprint and use his elusiveness to make the defenders miss. Alright, break this play down, Thomas. Perfect placement, perfect rhythm. Only when his guy can get it, and it results in six. Yeah, and they love how he fired up his teammates on this play, too. That kind of passion, you just can't coach that. Rodney Anderson picked up his block in the middle there, and the left guard did his job, and now the play to develop, and Mayfield to throw a dime. That was an excellent job by Baker Mayfield with the touchdown to 80 for Oklahoma. Yeah, Baker Mayfield here, great job, recognizes the screen pass. So Mayfield here, he's going through his progressions, he sees no one open, but three was open there for a second, he takes off and runs. Almost coming up with the fumble he recovery. He took too long trying to fake the handoff to uh, 23. Good protection. That looks like it was. I'm good to go. All right, second down and ten. No track action. Right here. Mayfield. He looks backside. Passes it. Empty backfield for Mayfield. Right here. Baker throwing up top. Mayfield throws it perfectly. Back shoulder. Anderson. Shoulder to get that catch. What an amazing job. Now Mayfield with the side. That was on the play. Terrible play. There's that last catch. Look how he has to adjust and go back to his left shoulder and still get it done. He's in man. Baker Mayfield. Here we Looking. see Mayfield. All day to throw. Look at this Andrews. offensive line Andrews. play. Mayfield. Andrews. What a stiff arm. Oh goodness, Mayfield just sat back there. He surveyed the whole field a couple of different Andy times. Andy King, Andy King, looking Andrews left, hand. looking left. Comes Andy all the way back Andy to the right. Andrews. That's when Andrews gets open, creates some space. Mayfield gets the snap. Or not. Okay, 
think it's a set now. Sees he's not got anybody open. He pulls out, dumps it off to Robbie Anderson. Just what a cut by Anderson there. It's hit. The second effort. It gets it into the end zone. I love the second effort on the play. In the backfield. Okay, Mayfield. Here's Mayfield. Gets a snap here. Looking. He fooled me with that pump thing. That was lovely. And then that pass was beautiful. The catch was great. That was a great pump thing. Great play. Great pass. What a weird game. And then get Only this guy can get it. And he got to take him across the field. Second down and 11. Mayfield. So Baker Mayfield here just boom. Great footwork and precision on this throw to Rodney Anderson. Touchdown, Sooners! With seven yeah, seconds to go, frog, it's Pater. He's doing Baker Mayfield type things and gets the ball to Rodney Anderson. He's Yep, he's going frog hunting. This is just... It's so... Baker is so good. And I watched the Roquan Smith tape, and one thing Baker did in that game is he made Roquan miss a lot of tackles. This guy can scramble. I mean, he can be a dual threat if you need him to be. But he makes smart throws, too, and goes frog hunting with TCU. Look at this... Mayfield, Look at this Mayfield. run by Finding a lane, finding a lane, and then he gets loose. Looks like his legs okay. And then at the end it's just all flavor. Yeah. And Baker Mayfield here just he's able to throw it. And, and does a great. All right, there's two Baker Mayfield plays. I want you to identify the good play, and I want you to identify the shitty play. All right, good luck. Time's up. Yes, he can. He's still Mayfield more showing off his athleticism once again. again. Great play. This was an excellent run by Baker, but because he fumbled at the end, I'm not going to hum the Sonic the Hedgehog theme song. I'm going to be an adult about things. This is one, one thing he's going to have to learn. He was down. I know he's a tough guy, and boy, was that ball out? High snap handled by Mayfield. He decides to run it. What a job by Baker there. There's a few... Yeah. Play action, like selling that play action, and he takes off and scrambles here. There's Quaker steak lube, and then there's Baker making steak and feeding TCU Lube, like on this big run here. Nice job. And, yep, another nice scramble by Baker Mayfield here. Fuck you, Buick. Baker Mayfield giving TCU some fuck you, Buick throws. We're gonna watch Baker Mayfield <laughs> Give. <laughs> All right, Baker Mayfield here in the pocket. Nice. Keeps his cool under pressure and makes the right throw. And that was the fuck you, Buick sack of the game by TCU. And then we've got one more. Yeah, now we're just going to watch Baker Mayfield take a knee. Baker Mayfield had a pretty strong performance in this game, Thomas. What were your thoughts on Baker's performance? I agree with that. I think he played a smart, safe game. He made a ton of good throws. Not too many mistakes in there. Um, good decisions. There were some bad throws. That happens. You, know, you can't make them all perfect. There were some um, bad decisions, but he's young. Those will get fixed. Showed good accuracy, good poise, good passion. Chose to run when he needed to. 
does need to work on sliding, but I don't encourage sliding. If you're a passionate player like Mayfield, I especially don't encourage it. So, yeah. I thought Baker Mayfield, he made some good throws, and he made some wowy throws. He did make some few careless throws, but overall a very strong showing. And it's games like this that show why Baker Mayfield's being in that top five discussion as far as the quarterbacks in this class go. He's definitely right up there. I currently have him going fifth to Denver, but I could see Buffalo trading up for him. I could see the Dolphins trading up for him. I could even see the Jets taking the three. There's a lot of scenarios, and there's a reason this guy won the Heisman. He might be 6'1", but you have to look past that, period. Absolutely. If you don't look past that, Baker just might come back to bite you in the rear end with some fuck you Buick throws. For Chris Ransom and Thomas Coburn of Draft Utopia, we're signing off. Enjoy your weekend, folks. The Utopia of Sports.